President. My name is Muhammad Sani Musa, representing Niger East Senatorial District. My motion today is on the activities of bandits and Boko Haram terrorists in Shururu local, Shururu, Munya, and Rafi local government areas of Niger State, which has taken a dangerous dimension and requires urgent need for federal government to deploy troops and other security apparatus to immediately bring an end to the menace of this insurgency and terrorism in Niger State and other parts of Nigeria. Note that in this hallowed chamber, we have made several resolutions, set up ad hoc committee on security, and declared every support at bringing an end to the persistent insecurity in our nation. We have appropriated budgets and also advances numerous steps to support our nation's security agencies. Yet, insecurity has continued to elude the nation. Almost seven years now, Niger East Senatorial District of Niger State have come under constant and sustained multiple attacks, deadly attacks by these heartless, venomous, and hydra-headed hydra Boko Haram terrorists and insurgents who, has, who are always heavily armed with assorted, sophisticated, and dangerous weapons unleashing their horror on our innocent populace. Further note that the negative effect of, of atrocities committed by these heartless monsters in the period under review include, among others, total collapse of the local economies of the affected victims, total collapse of educational system in the affected areas, famine due to collapse of agricultural activities, displacement as a result of desertion of crisis-prone uh, crisis areas, the population as a result of wanton deaths, social vices such as drug abuse and toggery emanating from struggle for survival, trauma arising from serial rape cases and inhuman, cruel, and deadly subjugations. Unfortunately, these repeated attacks are taking place amidst absence of slightest hindrance, resistance, or confrontation from the authorities concerned. Cognizance that about 42 communities across the two local government areas of Chiroro and Munya local government have so far fallen under the Boko Haram control, with about 5,000 villagers already displaced in the last three days. They have kidnapped many, and their wives seized from them, and forcefully attached to Boko Haram members. Three military camps in Alawa, Basa, and Zagzaga in the two local government areas have been sacked and some security personnel killed by the insurgents in the last one month of renewed attacks. I can authoritatively confirm that the Boko Haram terrorists have mounted their flags in many of the villages they have captured, such as Aure, Alawa, and Magami. Inhabitants of these war-torn parts of the states have been abandoned and left to their fates, thereby compelling them to wallow in perfectual agony and abject misery. Furthermore, at this moment, primary schools in Wada, Kuta, Pandogari, and Mina have hurriedly been torn to IDP camps, following the sacking of nearly 5,600 villagers from their central homes in Shururu, Rafi, and Munya local government areas in the last few weeks by bandits who raided the towns and villages. And what this means is that if they can launch attacks without hindrance in Niger East Senatorial District, then I don't see how Abuja can be said to be safe anymore. Again, note, before the recent bandit stroke, Kagara headquarters of Rafi local government, Madaka Gari, Maikujeri, Magami, Zanguru, Basa, Gusoro, Galadi, Mankogo, and Oki villages were all attacked and taken over by these bandits, with casualties of more than 46 people killed, and between March 2021 to date, same terrorists have launched serial attacks on daily basis to adjoining villages of Alawa, Shakona, Chiri, Kwaiki, Ajaitai, Gwasa, Bardendawaiki, and Gamamia communities in Munya and Shororo local government areas of Niger State, killing many innocent people, which also resulted to the lose of more than 25 gallant soldiers, mobile policemen, and other security personnel. While more than 16 civilians were killed, many others unaccounted and leaving over 2,300 displaced. While over 1,500 are now sheltered at primary schools turned temporary camps at Erena, 
and Zumba Primary Schools. The number of persons said to have been killed by bandits in Niger State from January 2020 to date are over 475 people. Aware that the federal government had made frantic efforts in curbing the menace through various operations to tackle cases of terrorism, banditry, cattle rustling, and kidnapping across Nigeria, but yet the expected return of peace in our land is unattainable. And this called for a total review of the nation's security architecture as proposed in the report of the Senate Ad Hoc Committee on Security. Further aware that confirmed reports emanating from those affected areas of Alawa and Barsa towns in Shiroro local government, Niger State indicated that the Joint Task Force stationed there had been withdrawn. However, no reason has been advanced for the withdrawal, but observers believe it will not be unconnected with the casualties offered by the Joint Security Task Force during the last unfortunate invasion and ambushing of the troops stationed at Alawa by the heartless, venomous, and hydra-headed terrorists. Worried that the continuous security challenges and related attacks by bandits in towns, villages, and communities in Shiroro, Rafi, and Munya local government areas of Niger State have meted untold hardship on the people and has subjected the affected areas under serious survival threats. If this menace is not drastically addressed, the attacks will continue, and the danger is that it may escalate further to other communities, which are mostly farming communities, and the farmers may desert their farms this season, and this will negatively affect the food sufficiency and economic diversification policy of the federal government. Senate resolves to one call on the Chief of Defense Staff, the Chief of Army Staff, and the Inspector General of Police to immediately deploy troops to defend the unarmed populace and bring back security to the affected communities, which is the only antidote to restoring confidence in the security and safety of the affected communities. To urge the Chief of Army Staff and the Inspector General of Police to, as a matter of urgency, direct for the establishment of a permanent military and police command base at this axis adjoining Shororo and Rafi local government. Areas respectfully and to redesign the modus of operandi of the military operations within the affected areas so as to curtail the escalating insecurity. Three, direct the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and NEMA to, as a matter of national emergency, provide relief materials and medical support team to the victims immediately. And finally, four, call on the Senate to observe a minute silence for all the victims of these callous acts of criminality. Thank you, Mr. President. Deputy Chief